Warning. What you're about to see is real. Real. Amazing. And enjoy it. Because it's all fun. That's it. What's up, guys? Tonight we're going to do a review on a video done by CJ Faison and Sunny Deeds. I'm going to do a very professional review. No weird noises. No bad jokes. Three priests walking to a bar. Just pure professional review. Too sexy and hot. And by the way, this is just a review slash reaction slash my own opinion about the video you're about to see. I'm a huge skeptic when it comes to ghost hunting, ghost spirits, paranormal in general. By the way, if you're new here and you like what you see, and I know you will, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like button, and notify bell as well. Unintentional rhyme. And that way you will get all notifications for future awesome videos done by me. All right, let's go. Tormented in the clown attic. But uh, if you don't know who this guy is, his name is Sonny Deeds, one of my best friends. We film a lot together. And tonight we're here at one of my properties that I own. This is a commercial piece of property that I own. It was built back in the 50s. This ah, place is ah, completely ah, finished ah. in downstairs. I'm trying to film. Okay, so <clears throat> a lot of you recognize that sock monkey there. And the sock monkey is from uh, previous videos. Oh, what? You're the monkey! What? The monkey! Are you freaking kidding me? He's here! Bro, What's that? Here. Dude, my camera will not focus. There it goes. Holy shit, the freaking monkey's That's here! Monkey, monkey! Hey, Sonny, you want a fur coat? <laughs> yeah, look. I would need a bear skin. It's not really his color. <laughs> I was thinking more of an apricot orange. What is that? I don't know. Be worse than being drunk, I think. Let me look up in there. Let me look up his nose. Oh, yeah. Look at that nose. <laughs> oh, actually, that thing is really creepy in infrared. It, 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 look at his eyes, dude. Get real close up on his eyes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Look into my eyes. He's sexy. He some... But creepy in a sexual kind of way. Oh, yeah. You got to... <laughs> oh, what the f*** was that? What the f***? You damn right I did. Oh, the big sound in the corner? Uh, duh, no. Ow, shit. Okay, this is not OSHA certified. <clears throat> There's a chair. Look at all of these chairs. Chairs everywhere. See, you can see me waving. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's called a shadow! Oh my gosh. Dude, swear on my life, I closed that door. You can literally see in my video that I closed that door. I went over to the door and completely closed it. Let's check the tank! No! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not to mention just like, damn son, it's easy, <laughs> easy, holy shit. <laughs> the fuck was that there before? Okay. That. Okay, so obviously I believe that there's at least one or two people in the attic with them. Off camera, always hiding, it's just how it goes. I know most of you out there know this already. But some of you out there are new to these ghost hunting videos. If y'all don't believe me, go to the comments on these videos and you'll see for yourself. And this is a classic move. Usually it's a chair in a doorway, but this time it's just a 10 foot pumpkin that's huge as hell. And of course they go, huh, was this here before? I have no idea. Now, if you want to impress me, I'd like to see a video of the actual pumpkin moving itself. You know, putting static cameras in the corners, you know, ghost hunting. But anyway, that's just me, so. But, um. Shut the fuck up, bro! And play the fucking video! Um. 
There's no way. Yeah, no, because it was it was open. There's no f-ing way that was in the middle of this walkway. There's no way. Uh, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I didn't even see it up here either. All right, something smells like shit. Did you fart? No, it literally stinks. Ew. You smell that? Yeah. Here we go. I know it's coming. Every time you see these guys talk about weird smells, you know it's coming next. Well, why are you still standing there? <laughs> well, they say if, if it smells like sulfur, it's got to be some type of like spirit or entity. It, it, in my opinion, damn sure smells like sulfur. What in the world would that be? It could be the demons. Ew, golly day, would the clown fart? It smells getting stronger. It smells getting stronger. Whoa, there's lights out there. Look. Oh yeah, an ambulance. Look at that. Pretty cool. It's an emergency vehicle oh, or something. Wow. You smell it? It's not. It's, oh! oh the the sh was that? Is there something behind me? 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 I swear on my life, I feel like there's something behind me. I can't see. Okay, so uh, Sonny got his light replaced, and I want to show you all what I, what we're gonna use tonight. Um, this is uh, what I call the PMB box. So uh, this thing here is uh, you've seen probably uh, this in some of my previous videos. When you detect motion around this, this will go off. I actually think this device is pretty cool. Um, I think it's a great addition for any ghost hunter, especially on video. If you're set up at a location and you have this bad boy in another room or upstairs and you know you're by yourself and this thing goes off, that's pretty creepy. But they run about $200 online. My name is CJ. I'm here with my friend Sonny tonight. We're here to perform an investigation. We're going to be using tools called these dowsing rods. This is what you can use to communicate with us. Okay, guys. Sorry if I offend you. But I do not like dowsing rods. Maybe for locating water? <laughs> I don't know. The problem to me is this. You cannot keep your freaking hands level. It's impossible. And the slightest movement of your hand is going to make those things move. Now, even if they do move, who in the fuck knows what it means? Are you the spirit that is attached to the clown? The freaky clown over there in the corner. Are you the spirit attached to that clown? Okay, use all your energy now. You have to cross these rods. Holy f That's weird. So something with a clown. I've been. I've... My hands tingle every time I do these. Right after I get an answer, it's almost like something's like touching the tips of my fingers. These are spirit fingers. I just don't. I don't even know. I just don't even like. Like the, I don't even trust that clown really. I mean, I know it's not real, but like, <laughs> I have like this fear, like that thing is just gonna like come alive and like start moving and shit. It's. <laughs> don't worry, CJ. I would never hurt you. I promise. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And remind me to close this session out, please. All right. Because I never do that, and that's why I feel like we've been having some really bad luck here lately. Yeah, make sure you close down the dowsing rod session correctly because we don't want to open a demonic portal, you know, with, with a dowsing rod session. Hmm. Damn, that was weird. 
swear, I, 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 it felt like somebody just like went, like not hard, like punched me in the mouth, but just like hit me in the mouth. Okay, so did you catch that? The reason why I think it's fake, in my opinion, is because you can see his whole body flinch, mainly his left leg and his knee area. You can totally see his knee flinch, his whole body flinch. Why? Because he was bracing for the throw. He knew it was coming, it's all set up, and he saw that hubcap in the corner of his eye coming, and he couldn't help but to flinch. Anyway guys, this is just my opinion. It's just a ghost hunting video. Don't take it too seriously. This is just one man's opinion. And, and by the way, I'm not into the hate. I'm not into hateful comments or bashing people. I'm into debunking videos and playing around of course. I have nothing against these guys. So just wanted to put that out there. If they see this, I hope they're good sports. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. Drop a line and say hi. I will see you next time. Oh, God.